Hi there, my name is Kirby Downey. I'm a product designer at My Mini Factory. I'm currently specializing in designing props, not only just taking them from a static prop and putting some mechanical features to them, such as my Duke hand cannon over here, which has a couple of moving parts to it, as well as my Thunderlord, which has um, a reloading mechanism, as well as a removable chamber and a moving trigger, and Thorn, which has a, a moving trigger with hammer, which react to each other, just like in the game. Got what I have to say. Then I thought to myself, what was the next level? I decided to take three popular trends, gaming, 3D printing, and airsoft, put it into one, which is why I decided to design the Rorsch X1 from Battlefield and put airsoft components into it and actually shoot it. The Rorsch X1 is a railgun from Battlefield 4, which is available in the Last Stand DLC. The great thing about this weapon is that it can take out infantry and vehicles for the same round. It's a very powerful weapon if you know how to use it and even more if you know how to exploit its weaknesses if you're facing against one. And to me, this is what good game design and good gun design. This is what made me decide to use it. A lot of people think I start with the file from a game. In fact, I actually model from the images using a 2D image creating out in 3D. I create solid bodies, they're complete, and this can be complete in a day or two depending on the surface detail. This specific model took me around seven days to model. I modeled the Picatinny rails with the exact dimensions of a standard Picatinny rail, so you can put any attachment onto it, including a cup holder. The airsoft gun I chose was the M16 Raider from GNG Armament, as it has common components and is a popular with most people who play the sport. In order to get the components I needed, the gun had to be taken apart and stripped only the necessary components. I kept the gearbox, the motor, the wires, the barrel, and the M16 magazine. In order to make the airsoft parts fit into the gun, there was a few changes I need to make, such as lowering the grip, as well as moving the handle slightly to the left. Once all these adaptations were complete, the gun was then cut into pieces and then sent to print. So after many hours of printing and testing, finally, this is the final product of a very long project of converting an airsoft gun, a store-bought airsoft gun, into a 3D printed gun from a game that you can't get anywhere else. Now there were some difficulties in doing this, printing the first draft of this. I found that the barrel was too close to the the gearbox which didn't allow the bullets to feed in nicely and um, the motor wasn't close enough to the gearbox so I had to make a few changes there um, which resulted in this final product here um, during the testing you can see because of that the barrel being too close to the gearbox it caused a massive gap over here which I've now rectified um, fix the problem with here uh, accessing the hop up and then just to show, you can take original accessories from here. So this then allows you to purchase certain scopes, um, certain sights, attachments, or airsoft guns to use in the field. Due to your click mechanism, which are these ball joints and the sockets, it allows this to be assembled with just a couple of pop joints 
The only areas which have glued have been glued is from here to here. You can glue everything up to here. However, because you need to always access your battery compartment, sometimes your gearbox and motor, and these are all snap fits in. It makes it quite sturdy, so when you do pick it up, you can shake it around a bit. Um, it will not fall apart. With regards to printing it, the longest piece to print is the lower receiver. This is purely because I printed it at 75% infill. This allowed it to be a lot stronger. It needed to be very strong around the joints where the motor is as the spring pushes back against in that direction, which could possibly snap down. Um, it's the only area that undergoes the most stress uh, with the gun. Um, it took a total of 125 hours to print, which is five days. It weighs approximately three kilograms without the airsoft internals. With the internals, uh, airsoft components, it weighs between five and six kilograms. So of its size, it is much lighter than existing airsoft gun. All the files for this gun are available for free download on mymanufactory.com. I'll also be uploading the block models of the individual components. This will allow you to take the internal components of this airsoft gun, download them and make your own gun for airsoft to be 3D printed. Um, you're more than welcome to upload them onto my manufacturer and make it available for anyone to use.